Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Vibes it up in the kitchen as usual. After posting, I don't know if you guys saw that giveaway yet, but full details at the end of the video there. After posting the video where I did that green juice with the juicer giveaway, there's been a ton of requests for more juicing videos. This one here, citrus, pineapple, nothing screams Caribbean like those two ingredients. You will notice I use limes and lemons if you want to cut back on that because the, the final product there, I already shot the video, it is a bit tart. So if you want to cut back on that, do your thing. Juicing. If you want some more videos on juicing, drop a comment down below and your boy will just oblige. Ari, let me get to the video now. Oh gosh. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. Got a ripe pineapple, three grapefruit, two lemons, two limes, some clementines, and we've got five pounds of oranges. It's gonna be great, nice and juicy. Next up, we gotta break down the pineapple. So we're gonna cut off the top. That's gonna go into the rubbish. Get rid of that. We're gonna cut off the bottom. Just sort of square it off. That's gonna go into the rubbish. And with a sort of a back and forth or sawing motion, you will just go down the sides. You don't have to be too precise, we're just trying to take off the main skin here. So you can go as light as you want. Because at the end of the day, we're juicing this and all the fiber will end up in the rubbish. So that's all I'm doing. I will recommend though, giving it a good wash after well, before and after. And I would recommend that with any fruit, any vegetable that you're juicing. Because you never know what kind of chemicals are used, fertilizer, pesticides, and stuff like that. All of that is going to go into the rubbish. If you're making a true Caribbean pineapple juice, you would boil that. Now, in past videos, you would have seen me core this we would remove the center core here, but because we're juicing it, all I'm doing is cutting it into wedges, like so, just big enough to go through the juicer. And the core in this case here, we will get some nice juice out of that, so we ain't too worried about that too much. Now for the grapefruit and the oranges, what we're gonna do, cut the top, cut the bottom until you see flesh. And again, same sort of sawing motion down the sides. Because to be honest with you, I don't think it's a good idea to run the citrus in the machine with the skin on. Now if that works for you, if you like that sort of rind, you can rock that. I man don't like that. And you're probably wondering there, well Chris, how come we can't just do it to old school and squeeze it? By all means, do that, but Iman got a juicer, and Iman will use his ju juicer. So that is what we did there. We just chopped that up, get rid of this sort of bit here, toss that aside. I don't want to be too precise, but you got these lovely segments here now. Just look at that. Now with the oranges, if you don't want to go through all that pressure, you just go like that, and a quarter, and another quarter and you would just pull back the skin like so and there you go one more pull back pull back the bottom part and peel there's the skin there's the orange then as far as the clementine goes you would peel it like you would normally peel a clementine or mandarin just pulling back on the skin using your thumb if you don't know how to do this search YouTube I can't believe some people don't know how to do that. Nah. Thanks for all talk. There we go. For the limes and the lemon, I'm doing exactly how I showed you how to do it with the grapefruit. So all the peels here. Just gonna give it a little slice. And another little slice. Just to make it easier for the for the juicer and the lemon and that lime 
It's going to add a lovely, a, a stronger citrus flavor. It can be a bit tart though, so be mindful of that. Eh? And I really want to use a sharp knife and be very careful. There we go. It's all prepped. It will take a few minutes. I think it probably took me about anywhere from five to ten minutes to fully prep it. We got the oranges, the pineapple, the grapefruit, the clementine underneath. There's the lime and the lemon. But it is, you know, it's well worth the time because it's a pure juice as you will ever drink. You know, no additives, no preservatives, nothing you can't smell and spell. Did I just say sell? Oh my God. What did I just say? Smell, sell, well, oh my God. Anyhow. You could pronounce everything <laughs> the ingredient list. At this point, all I'm doing is feeding the fruit into the juicer. And lo and behold, all we're getting is some crazy juice on the bottom there. Let me zoom in, let me zoom in. Because I'm not the biggest fan of pulp, I like straining it, but the pulp is a thing you can certainly, well, avoid, <laughs> avoid straining it as I'm doing. But you just gotta love the yield, man. The yield is not bad. And I'm gonna tea for line for my Bahamian brethren, Sky John. And there you have it! <laughs> Sky! I owe you one part now. Use your lyrics there. Anyways, pineapple citrus juice. We did it in the juicer. If you want to do it in a blender, do your thing. I ain't really hate it, but this is as pure as juice can come. Your family is worth it. You're worth it. Your friends are worth it. Your nana is worth it. Everybody's worth it, man. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. I urge you to give this recipe a try. It will be a bit tart because remember we had that lime in there, the lemon in there, and if the orange is not too sweet, well then we're dealing with that issue as well. But always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Until we meet again. Ari, Ari.